Hello everyone and welcome to the latest episode of the Tea Break. I'm Varun and this is where we talk most things cricket. And today we're going to talk about the recently concluded T20 international series between India and England. India came out on top 3-2. For me it was a very exciting series because you could see the teams that will showcase themselves in the World T20 Championship coming up very soon. Also, we could see that there were a few games that were one-sided, a few that were very close. Uh, the teams first thought that batting second was the right formula and won that way. Uh, and then you could see that batting first also has its, it has its advantages and India won the last two games batting first and putting up a very good score up on the board. A couple of points that I want to talk about overall. The one is I think India found their right balance only at the fag end of the of the tournament, especially in this last game, where they realized that playing six bowlers is going to be absolutely crucial in a T20 international, especially if there is some due uh, at, uh, in the tournament in the world in the World Cup. Because if there is due, then your spinners sort of go out of the equation. If your spinners go out of the equation, you need that sixth bowler to cover up a few overs, and that's what happened today. Because Hardik Pandey had to cover up a few overs, and and that always that always helps. Uh, because Chahar was going for a lot of runs. Um, the second point is that Virat Kohli has to open now with Rohit Sharma. I think that's a really interesting combination, a very lethal one, I would say. Uh, currently, what was holding us back was that there was no one in that number three position who could come in and do the job for the team. Uh, Surya Kumar has shown that he can come in and he can score at a very fast rate and that too without taking too many risks. So I think the balance is is there. Also, something really exciting is that we did it without Jasprit Bumrah and without Ravindra Jadeja. So, if you see the games that did come a bit close in the last, especially the last two games, when Jasprit Bumrah comes in, his four overs are not going to go for the, those many runs. Also, Jadeja will contribute far more than either a Washington Sundar or a Shardul Thakur. The third very positive point for India was Shardul Thakur. I think. He just goes under the radar very easily, but the way he's performed and performed that role of bowling the death overs is crucial for India because there will be one or two games in that World Cup where he will be needed. Same goes for Natarajan, he will be needed in a couple of games where they know that death bowling is going to be crucial. For him, it was a tough uh, ask because he came in after a bit of a break and came in straight into a final of a series, which is, not, which is never easy, but I think he held his own quite well. Uh, everyone's joking that play all Mumbai Indians players and you'll win the, the series but uh, there's some truth to that as well playing the core 7 of the Mumbai Indians always helps because also they have that understanding and that sort of uh, team building already set in so for them it's going to be uh, easy uh, to sort of uh, come in and play play well for England what were the positives I think uh, as Morgan mentioned in his press conference the power play bowling was definitely a positive Having said that, if they go in with only pace back of a length, teams will pick them off. There needs to be more variation. Archer has that variation. Uh, he bowls a really good slow one, but sometimes I think over tries it. Wood doesn't have that variation. He bowls back of a length quick uh, and it can be useful on very skiddy surfaces where the ball is going to come on very quickly. But otherwise, if it's going to be a little bit slower off the pitch, people are going to start smacking him very quickly. Quickly. and we could see that happening today the pitch was good uh, but the batsmen were hitting him with relative ease and Adil Rashid was the biggest positive for England a quick leg spinner who can bowl both leg spin and googlies at a pace above 85 is going to be lethal for any team and I think it's going to be interesting that they have that the negative is their middle order if you have all left handers come in um, as you normally say in cricket that you know batsmen can line up a bowling attack if it's very similar it's the same way the other way around as well bowlers can line up a batting attack if it's very similar so England need to figure that out quickly I'm sure they will because as you could see in the final game even today that whatever score you put up this England team can most likely chase it down uh, so you need to be putting up 200 to 200 plus against this England team and if you try and put 200 plus every time a lot of the times you're going to not be successful and you will lose so England has the advantage there so even if India won the series today I think England is still going to be favorites when they come in to play uh, the World Cup uh, what I really think though is that the next series is the one day international series and I think 
before the T20 or before the rise of T20, a lot of discussion was that you know Test cricket is going to die down. But I think, to be very honest, my personal opinion is One Day cricket is the one format that is dying because uh, the people want to come and watch fast, quick games, which is T20, or they want to come and have a one full day out, uh, watch a Test match and enjoy, uh, especially being the purists of the game. So, uh, and the One Day format doesn't come in both these brackets so i think the one day format will slowly fade away uh, it will give rise to more franchise cricket going forward because the one day international windows will then uh, evolve into more franchise cricket windows which is i think a good thing for the game i think it will be it will be useful to expand the game not just in uh, the countries that are playing now but also other countries by using that format for franchises or for t20 games with other associate nations so just a side point there uh, from this series about the T20 game overall. Uh, so thank you very much. India won this series, so I'm quite happy about that, quite pleased about that. Let's see how the one-day series goes. Um, I think India will edge that one as well. Thank you and talk to you soon.